Which is bigger, 10 to the 10th or 9 to the 11th? Okay, you may notice this is a problem that I've done already, but I wanted to do it again just using a different method. So to get started with this, what I'll actually do is take a guess at the answer. It's not much of a guess because I already did this problem, but let's just start with saying 10 to the 10 is going to be less than 9 to the 11, and then I'll go about trying to show this. Then from here, what I want to do is take 9, and I can write this as 3 squared, and this is all going to be to the 11th, and we'll have 10 to the 10 on the left side. Now, 3 squared to the 11th, I can distribute in, actually go this way, distribute in the 11, and then I can actually rewrite this as 3 to the 22. But then what I want to do next is break it up on both sides. So like I'll take a, for 10 to the 10th, I'll take a 10 out. So then we're left with 10 to the 9th, but then for 10 to the 9th, I can write that as 10 cubed, all cubed. And then doing the same kind of thing on the right side, I'll factor out a 3. So then we have 3 to the 21. But for 3 to the 21, I'll write it as 3 to the 7th cubed, just so we have terms that are cubed on the right and the left. And then from here, what I want to do is just use the fact that we know this value, we know this value. 10 cubed is really easy. That's just going to be 1,000. And then for 3 to the 7th, I'm going to use the fact that I know that this value is actually 2187. So now, of course, we can see 3 to the 7th is greater than 10 cubed. And if both these are cubed, then this piece here is greater than this. But the only problem is we've got 10 greater than 3, so we're not quite done yet. So coming back over here, we know we know that 3 to the 7th is greater than 10 cubed, because it's 2187. Now what I can also use, though, even if we cut this in half, 3 to the 7 divided by 2 is going to be something like 1,090, still greater than 1,000. So this is going to be true. So I'm going to use that. Let's just alter this. I'm going to divide it by 2 so that we get this. But then, so I'm not changing it over here, I'll just multiply it by 2 in front. But then, just to clean all this up, I can split this up. I can write this as, I can split out the 2 and write this as 2 cubed here. And then we have our 3 to the 7th over 2, all cubed. But now here, combining all this, this 2 to cubed, 2 cubed is 8 times 3. So now we have 24 times this thing cubed. And we're saying this is greater than 10 times 10 cubed, all cubed. But now we have it where 24 is definitely greater than 10. And this number, this number in here, we decided it was like 1090 and this is 1000. So this number over here is definitely greater than 1000 cubed. And so therefore we can say 9 to the 11 is greater than 10 to the 10. Okay, there you have it. Alternative method to this which is bigger problem. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.